Hey, you. Are you up for it? But anyway, yeah, I was on these sites and one of them, it it put it in text to speech, but it was text to song of a specific tune. And I want you to try and guess the tune, Courtney. Okay. Ooh. Another one for you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Yes, come on. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Technically it is our birthday. Yeah. Woo! We were born today. Woo! Happy, birthday. Happy birthday to us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we've got lots coming up on the show, and um, we got one bit uh, that we're really keen to move to, to play. But we will actually play Sigala now with "Came Here for Your Love," and we'll be right back with some more fun. <laughs> Okay, let me look at the running order. It comes after a few songs. We've got a few songs. I've realised I, I don't have my glasses on, so like I can see it and I can you see, see the, the colours, order. but I don't know what the colours are. Yeah, and you so like, my eyes are like, sure? what? You were like, can you make sure you put the laptop so I can see it? Yeah, but I'm it, still please. too blind to be able to read it. Before I get my opinion on the uh, <laughs> am I in the wrong situation. If you can, you know, if you can deal out the farts, I feel like you need yeah, to be man yeah. enough to like, take I'm, it. I'm of the same opinion. Yeah, I think you just, he, yeah, he, if you want to distribute, you have to be able to receive as well. It, whether it You've comes to insults. You've got to be able to give or to receive, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Um, oral, <laughs> insults, you know, all, all, all the same. All the same. All the same. <laughs> but be both <laughs> a giver and a receiver, exactly. everyone. Be, be a giver and a receiver. <laughs> be a good partner. Here's the Seeves as we jerk it out. We'll be right back after the break. <laughs> Hello, future Courtney and future Joe. I am here for our first activity. The society that I'm trying is pole fitness. So I do pole fitness. I'm actually part of their society, which is why I picked it to go first. I just really wanted to showcase it because it's something that I love and I've been doing for over a year now. So it's really nice to get to uni and find a society for it. So I'm going to have a chat with some of the girls, explain a little bit more about it. But yeah, I'm going to go in and have a really nice session. <laughs> Would you describe what pole fitness is? Uh, yeah, so pole fitness is a sport that is kind of uses every bit of your muscles into doing cool and intricate shapes. And the wonderful thing about it is that it goes off in different directions. So you could go down the more dancey, twiddly route. You can go down the more strength route. Um, absolutely anything like that. And it's just a great way to get fit and have fun and feel empowered. Uh, I'm Em. I'm Katie. <laughs> um, I'm the chair of Pole. I'm the vice chair. So what, what is Pole Fitness? It's just fitness, basically. <laughs> um, but basic way to put it. It's a fun way to exercise. Yeah, it's fun and it has a lot of a lot of strength in it, a lot of flexibility. Um, yeah. It's like a good workout without knowing it's a workout all the time. <laughs> yeah. What is your favourite thing about Pole? I think just how fun it is really with like a group of girls and who also enjoy it as well. And like being taught all these like cool moves, realizing how strong you are doing them. Um, I like that it's like a group of really supportive people. <gasps> Um, and I like that I sometimes surprise myself with what I can actually do. Uh, you can look like an absolute clown and everyone else will join in with you. <laughs> so what, what was it about pole that made you want to do pole? I 
think just the energy and the vibe of it. Like, I've never seen someone doing pole and not thought, that person is fierce, but I bet they're also a really awesome person. I just think it's a fun way of exercise. Like, I know it sounds weird, but... And you yeah. get to do, like, nice, pretty things. And you get to, like, like meet people. Um, you see your progress in it. Like, yeah, from you when you first start, progress. you can see the progress yeah. you make. I feel like it's really like inclusive like if you're like a complete beginner like you're still not like judged or whatever and like people are really good but then people are like just starting out and I feel like it's like okay for all levels so it's something good to like enter into. It's one of the few sports societies where you actually have a lot of fun and you don't have to do it like competitively mm, yeah. so like you don't have to worry about not being able to do something everyone's really supportive. It's definitely given me at least some body confidence and it's helped me build some strength for my body as well. Being able to actually carry my body weight for a little bit of time on a pole feels pretty good. As an instructor, that's another part of my favourite part, how it transforms people. Like people come in, they're like head to toe covered in clothing, they're really scared to take any clothing off, lacking in confidence, and then you just see them week by week. More clothes have come off, they're being more daring, they're, they've bought a nice lovely set from whatever website and they're just feeling so good on themselves and like confidence just starts to ooze out and it's like yes. <laughs> it's such an empowering and confidence boosting sport. Um, yeah, pole is great and I'd recommend it to anyone. Oh, that sounded really interesting actually. Uh, it is really interesting. Pole like a genuinely really fun thing to do yeah. um, and I honestly love it and like being part of like a big team well not team but like group of people who do it as well and like are just as excited as you are to to do yeah. like a move or something and to get it is it's actually really nice like the motivation and the encouragement yeah and like you just feel so much more confident and like you don't have to be like oh I'm sexy on a pole like you can just do some sick flips and you're just like yeah that's are you, amazing are you sexy on a pole though? Um, I don't know I mean maybe if you watch a YouTube video you see if I'm sexy on a pole <laughs> um, plug the YouTube yeah, but yeah no I do YouTube. have videos of me doing pole that we'll put in um, yeah. but they're definitely not sexy I'm definitely very sweaty yeah. hair's a mess just yeah. like Arr! trying to hold myself up so it's not sexy but maybe one day yeah i'll get there um i mean have you sort of ever um you see kind of the diversity and stuff in the um the group there yeah so kind of like is there there's some guys that you can hear is there a guy that goes um, there so yeah so there's actually three guys in our in in the society yeah. um like and they're, and they're all completely different like they have different skill sets they have different body types like one of them is like also a ro i think he does rowing yeah so he's like really strong so he can do everything like straight away um but like he needs help getting into the move properly like to get his legs in the right place whereas like you've got another one who doesn't do as much like extra physical activity but he can sort of like yeah. get his he get in the position better so it's yes yeah, it's very diverse yeah, well, we'll talk more a little bit about um, sort of pole a bit later because I, I am sort of very interested in it. Um, we've got some Griff and Sigrid here with Head on Fire. Mm -hmm. 